Hello, welcome back to Campus View. I'm your host, Denise Cameron, and right now we're talking ticketing issues at the football games. Uh, but first, let's meet our guests. Hi, I'm Mikey Taylor. I'm a senior here at Ohio State. I'm majoring in journalism and minoring in media production and analysis. Hi, I'm Brooke. I'm also a senior. I am majoring in communication with a minor in media production and analysis. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm also a senior and I have a major in journalism and a minor in media production and analysis. Um, so there were uh, issues at the Oregon game. Uh, tickets weren't working, uh, there were Wi-Fi issues, and uh, the line was backed up. Did any of you guys uh, go to the Oregon game? Yeah, I was actually there. Um, I got there when it was like a mosh pit basically, like no one could move, you were just in like this big. So me and my boyfriend kind of tried to like just push into the group. We said you guys have to be aggressive, no one was moving. Um, people were arguing outside of the stadium about like who was there first, you know, because like people were waiting for hours. Some people were just getting there and like pushing in. Um, so it was it was a mess. And then once we got in, the scanners weren't even like working well. Everyone was taking their good old time with it. So that's why it was taking so long. So it was it was a pretty big mess for me. Uh, how did that make you feel? Uh, it was definitely aggravating because as we were standing outside waiting, we saw the plane go over. So we all knew that the game was starting. So everybody was there waiting and we didn't even get to watch the beginning and that was you know upsetting because we paid money for this game for the tickets and so yeah it was definitely like sad and a little aggravating but I mean there's nothing we could do about it. Right so people were able to just walk into the game uh, as a fan or as a fan who would have paid for tickets uh, how does that make you feel? Yeah I think that was like one of the main issues that people like were just overall upset with because the value of the ticket was essentially gone um, so people who did pay probably weren't be, wasn't able to get into like like you said later in the game, and then people who didn't pay could essentially just walk right in and take someone's spot that they paid good money for. So you know, and the, so thousands of dollars were lost for not only Ohio State but for the fans who decided you know who paid for a ticket. So I know people were a lot uh, were upset about that as well. I think it's especially frustrating just because of the anticipation the game probably had for so many fans being the first home game. Uh, that students and families could attend since I think like what 2019 yeah. um, so I'm sure it was especially disappointing for those fans who even traveled to get to Columbus just to attend this game and then like um, Mikey said just the value of the ticket was taken away instantaneously due to the disorganization so. yeah it was a big game and it just went on it started with a really rough start so um, and with all this commotion going on, uh, as a student, uh, how, when it comes to like safety concerns, what, uh, how do you guys feel about that? Um, I think like with the mosh pit thing, it was like, we were scared to go into it. Like we were like, we're in a very big dilemma because we want to get into this game, but we don't really want to wait in this big group. So it's already frustrating that we have to wait in this huge line, but then there's this, the second thing where it's like, you know, nobody was wearing masks. People were very in each other's faces, yelling at each other, like just very close. And I feel like that's hard because it's like, what, what do you do from there? You know, like with COVID and stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, like you mentioned, we waited a very long time to have in-person games, and like with a mosh pit and COVID nineteen still being a very real thing, we don't want that privilege to be taken away from us again. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was definitely upsetting and uncomfortable and that kind of environment is just very stressful as it is. So um, hopefully that the next upcoming games, it can be a better experience for the fans. Uh, for the Tulsa game, uh, do you guys know if, uh, did it get better? Yeah, I feel like they definitely came prepared a lot. Everyone was a lot more cautious and considerate. All the staff workers there were just double checking. Um, and just being very careful and mindful um, just to do better for the next game. Yeah, yeah. hopefully um, just with like the first game, that was kind of a learning lesson. I understand, obviously it's been a long time since um, everyone's been in that type of environment and had to navigate that, which is difficult because like Emma said, I'm sure a lot of people felt like they were also putting their safety at risk a little bit, even more by having to be in that situation. So. Hopefully things continue to improve now that uh, we jumped over that first hurdle. And uh, moving forward, uh, what are some things that you think that uh, 
those involved in the game and uh, everything, what do you think that they can do to improve it, to make sure like this doesn't happen again? Honestly, just double checking tickets because I feel like it's very easy for people to sneak into other sections. So I feel like if you spend a lot of money on a ticket, just make sure you're, you get what you pay for. Yeah. I think honestly, like for safety, like safety wise, it would be a good idea to have like those gates or something where the, the uh, people can walk through to get their tickets. That way no one's fighting, you know who got there first, like you're in a single file line. It would be hard because there's so many people, but I feel like we could find a way to maneuver that so it's not just like this huge group of people waiting, you know what I mean? Yeah, if they allow more entrances to be up and just even have more workers probably set up um, just to double check things like they said um, and just to avoid the mosh pit situation if they're better able to space people out and um, enact some safety precautions that help the organization that's what I'd like to see going forward yeah and I mean we're a big school this is nothing new I feel like this was just a really fluke freak accident for us so I I'm confident that something like this will probably never happen again. If it does, I know, you know, they'll do better yeah. and learn from it. Mm -hmm. um, are you guys excited about the next game coming up? Yes, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited it's a bit of a later start time. I think it'll be fun um, to be able to um, maybe attend more festivities leading up to the game. I'd like to see the band um, and things like that. Um, so I'm excited. Yeah, I think the weather will be a little bit cooler, so it'll be a little bit more enjoyable um, in the stadium. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I think that what, it's Akra to Night game. Yeah. That'll be really fun. I think night games are always fun. I, like, I think the students enjoy that. Like, um, and yeah, just uh, Akra and will be a good team. It'll be interesting to see because they're such a smaller school, but so I think it'll be a good game. Oh yeah, and it is at night. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do you guys feel about uh, night games? I prefer night games a lot over new kickoffs, in my opinion. <laughs> Me They're too. Just, you have more time to just be and hang out with everybody, be with your friends, and just tailgate. So I'm very excited. I think it's like a very convenient for students because like you go to the game and then everybody like goes out afterwards. So it's like a good you know mix <laughs> instead of having to like yeah. 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 Well, I'm excited about it. Um, uh, who do you guys think will, are going to win? Ohio State, of course. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Although I am worried, uh, considering two weeks ago the performance, so um, I guess we'll just have to see. But yeah, fingers crossed. All right. Well, all right. Uh, that concludes our show. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Until next time. <laughs>